Hello everyone, my name is Samuel and today I will be, be providing you with my stabber guide plus a few fights to showcase as an example. Now if you're not curious about my rambling then feel free to skip ahead towards the fights. However, if you'd like to know the idea behind this ship and my personal fits, then raise up off the mouse and keyboard and listen to my lovely voice. The stabber is a T1 cruiser of the Minmatar faction. It has a 644 fitting slot layout with its primary buffering shield and 24 uh, drone, 25 drone bandwidth that can field a flight of 5 light drones. The two primary aspects regarding a stabber are speed and versatility. Most fits revolve around shield tank kit, but you can get a decent armor tank as well. And because of the two utility high slots, you can fit either two newts or two nasses to help your cap out or newts your enemy ships cap out. Slowly but steadily, depending on the ship's size. Speed, of course, as I mentioned earlier, is a critical part of the Stabber because this ship is the fastest T1 cruiser with a 290 meters per second base speed, allowing fits to be either Kairi or Brawly, but again, versatility. This fit, however, has a base move speed of nearly 500 because of the three overdrives, and we'll get to that later. Let's go over the first fit, the speedy one, hence nicknamed Flash, as you can see in the window. Right, so as I mentioned, I have three overdrive injector systems fitted, giving me a total speed of 3,100, 3, overheated up to 4,400. Now you can pimp this up even more if you want to use snakes, be it low grade, mid grade, or high grade. But you can also use some uh, drugs, uh, the agency one, the one that gives you, I think it's 7% boost to speed, and also cloth zero, which are not that much expensive and uh, definitely worth it in some cases. Now the idea behind this fit is to catch kiters, especially kiting frigates. I'm doing most of my fights in faction warfare low sec and the main meta is frigates and dizzies, destroyers. So, afterburner cruisers are almost always in danger from those cutting garmers, dramules, succubuses, maybe even condors. You get the picture. So, I wanted something that screams in local and on D scan, huh, a cruiser. A slow ass cruiser. Yeah, I can take that. So, they come in the plex, manage to put some distance. But, surprise, I'm right there with them going nearly 4.5k meters per second, overheated, scramming them and putting the herd down. It can also work to an extent if you want to kite out other cruisers with barrage ammunition. However, you need to fit a point or you can uh, keep distance and if you see them going down and they're still on the field with you, still trying hard to kill you, you can approach them and finish them off to scram and web range. Because of your extra large and sort of shield booster, you'll have more than enough tank to survive the engagement. Unless, of course, they're bait tanking you, which is another story. Now, moving on. The second fit, as you can see, it's afterburner fit and Garmer, of course. Of course. Has pointed me and with his buddies killed me. But, nevertheless, the second fit is my brawling stabber, hence named Brutus for uh, uh, future reference, make it easier. Now, the Brutus is my bread and butter. Sufficient tank to take on Eddie on the cruiser in a fight and stand a good chance of coming on top. Good speed, overheated 1.1, uh, meaning I can mitigate damage and get, get out of scram range if the fight does not go my way. Even against uh, cruisers, if they have a web, most cruisers are slower and you can still get out of scram range in time. And two small newts, of course, to annoy any brawling frigate that tends to want to cross path. Now, let me just load some ammunition so you can get some stats. And as you can see, nearly 400 DPS with drones included, of course. That means I can uh, break a decent tank, if not a good tank, and a sufficient amount before my uh, ASV runs out. Now, this fit does require a few uh, implants, in my case a full genolution set because I'm just 
retarded like that but you can downgrade some of the modules and maybe fit a power grid rig and sure it will be a little bit gimped compared to my fit but it should still work nonetheless I also use drugs uh, the agency hard shell tier 3 which gives 7% bonus to shield boosting and armor rep but in this case I only need the shield boosting and the improved blue pill I don't use the strong pill because in my opinion it costs twice as much and only gives a bit more percentage to shield boosting which honestly it's not really worth it because uh, when you hit about 20% uh, shield if you, boost, if you boost once it's back up to full again either way so sure if you want to go super elite buy the strong one the strong blue pill but the improved blue pill is uh, more than enough in my experience now in a fight I try to keep the distance at 2500 meters in order to apply my DPS properly because I do not have a web but I do have speed to help me with that but in the case where I'm fighting another cruiser I can afford to orbit closer to mitigate damage and still track decently because of the 100 millimeter grand fitted Alright, so not much else there is to say about this fit or the other one. So I'll just leave you guys with uh, some example videos to show you what I'm talking about. Hope you guys enjoy. Take care.